hi guys welcome back to a new video on this channel so today on this video i'm going to talk about how you can get your first article published on geeksforgeeks.org and uh, how to write it how to basically the entire process i will try to cover as much as possible because all the videos that i saw on youtube that pop up on my recommendations or home feed whenever i try to uh, search for geeks for geeks or anything uh, all the videos are full of shit honestly to be honest all the videos are full of shit they don't tell you a, they don't tell you the exact process on how to write and how to get published on geeks for geeks or what are the benefits or they just show you the website and this just show you read out the guidelines you can read the guidelines by yourself no one needs to read it out, read it out for you in a video so basically we are trying to cover as much as possible in a single video and I will try to keep it as short as possible. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've already wasted one minute of yours. Right, let's get started. So as you can see, this is my article. This is pretty basic article that I have written. How to install Python uh, .env in Python. So uh, this is not an article that I have selected for myself. This is This was not my topic. Actually, I got this topic from Geeks for Geeks itself. It was there in their portal. Let me just show you. And I just picked the article because this is something I know. And this is something very basic. So I just, uh, so I wanted to start my article with something very basic. Right. So this is the website. Write.geeksforgeeks.org. Right. So you just need to go to this website and you just need to create an account and log in. Or you can log in with your Google ID. Doesn't matter. So these are the categories that are available right now. As you can see, these are the categories that are available for uh, picking. So you can see this is web technology. How to implement for effects in WebGL, right? So you can click on right. Uh, okay, so I'm just going too fast, I think. So let me just show you uh, Geeks for Geeks guidelines first. I don't want to read out the guidelines because you can do it yourself. Uh, no one should make a video just to read out guidelines. That is what I think. Right. So, if you go to write.geeksforgeeks.org, you can see all the guidelines. Write with us. You can see write on such topics, write an article. And uh, these are the topics that you can write on. And the how content writing works, write an article. If you just click on this, you will get to see all the guidelines. Uh, guidelines to improve and guidelines to write if you click on it guidelines to write you'll see guidelines to write how to write what are the guidelines what are the things that you should follow how to do it and all of it right and if you see guidelines to improve you can see all the guidelines to improve right so now how you can pick an article and how you can write an article so that it gets reviewed and it gets published if you don't follow these guidelines and if you don't follow the exact method of how to pick an article and how to uh, suggest an article if you don't if you write something without suggesting it first then there's a high chance that it will never get published because they will not review your article at all and I mean, the, you might have to email them again and again and then it might get published right so once you log in you'll get to see an interface like this you can go to pick article and click on search available topics so these are all the topics that are available they have selected these topics and you can write on it right so if you click on this computer subject you can see microchip and computer now let's say I want to write this I will click on it right now you can see whenever I click on it I need to submit a pick request so it says please try to write and submit the article within four days so for four days this particular article will be reserved for me and I can write it within four days and submit it within four days if I don't submit it within four days what will happen is uh, it will be allotted to someone else. It will be available in public. It will be available in public and uh, someone can pick it and write for it, write article about it. So I didn't know this at first. So actually I wrote an entire article about a topic. And when I uh, selected this write option, it showed me that, okay, someone has already selected, someone has already picked up this article. You cannot write about it. So whole my entire one hour or two hour whatever I put in to write that article it got wasted and I could not submit it because someone else has picked it. Right. 
and now you can see my picked articles if i go to my picked articles you'll see all the articles that i have picked i have none picked right now the ones i have picked are already published so it will not show up here and this is the way you pick articles and this is the way you improve articles right right if you click on improve you can pick on improvement my suggestions by improvement and all of that now let's say i want to suggest an article what i will do let's say i have a topic i want to write on it but uh, if I want to get reviewed, if I want to get published, you can write an article directly as well, but that has less chance of getting published and less chance of uh, getting selected, right? So if you want to uh, write an article and get published, what you can do is you can click on this suggest article, go to suggest, write your article title, select a category, select tags, do some research that whether that article is already present in Geeks for Geeks or not. Go to Geeks for Geeks website and uh, in the home page you will get a search bar, you can search for it or you can use Google Docs. I will not show you how to do it. I will not show you how what Google Docs is. You can just basically Google it. You are a geek. You are a nerd. You can figure it out. Right? So, yeah. So, this is all I wanted to talk about. Now, I want to talk about whether you will get paid or not. Most people have this confusion that... Uh, most people have this doubt that whether they will get paid or not. How much they will get paid and what are all the details. So, uh, let me just show you. So, can you get paid for writing on geeks for geeks yes actually you can get paid so i i googled this just to get to this page you can get paid you are entitled to get uh, the i don't know how to pronounce that okay so so you can uh, you will be eligible to get paid if you uh, write at least one article or improve at least one article for geeks for geeks and 10 percent of tds will be deducted from the monetization as well as the amount paid per article will depend upon the content and the quality of article and several other fa factors like uh, your article should be uh, not, not be copyrighted your article should not be copied from somewhere else and basically all the guidelines you should follow all the guidelines right now the next thing is uh, there are some posts on public forum on reddit uh, and some other sites so what I uh, so I also researched about reviews on this platform on Geeks for Geeks. It is known as India's top computer science platform, India's leading computer science platform, and it has a very good reputation. But uh, when it comes to writing, when it comes to technical content writing for Geeks for Geeks, they have been pretty lousy because they uh, just outsource their entire writing job to to people and uh, students actually so students write articles and you get to see those articles actually geeks for geeks have a pretty good search engine optimization so whenever you search for a computer science topic there's a high chance that geeks for geeks will show up in the search results at the top so most people have shared their experiences over here that uh, geeks for geeks is not good if you are searching for if you are looking to earn some money because uh, you know you you have to write very long articles and still you might not get paid as much and uh, the quality of the articles are also decreasing in the platform are also deteriorating in the platform because uh, they are just outsourcing the entire thing and people just want to get some swags people just want to get the certificate uh, you also get a certificate by the way if you submit certain number of articles you might get a swag like goodies or bag or whatever and a t-shirt uh, uh, with geeks for geeks branding so most people do it for that so the quality of the uh, articles are also deteriorating personally for my uh, personally i tried this out just to figure out how this works and uh, i also wanted to make a video on this youtube channel just to get some views to be honest yeah so if you are just doing this for swags you, you can do it just search for GFG goodies and you will land, to th land in this article and you can find out how to get a goodie for Geeks for Geeks. So these are the three, four ways that you can, uh, using which you can get swags, right? So I think this covers the entire topic. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. And I don't want to get this video over 10 minutes mark, so I will just stop this video now. Thanks for watching and... Subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Thank you.